In this talk, I will define slowdown torrent, tell you why existing consensus protocol for replicate state machine and not slowdown torrent, and introduce Copilot, the first one slowdown torrent consensus protocol. Replicate state machine are a group of replicas that are coordinated by a consensus protocol. The consensus protocol make the replica state machine for torrent and provide linearizability, which make it act like a single machine that processes commands one by one. Replica state machine are everywhere. Their intuitive behavior and for torrent make them a common component in building system at all scale. For instance, they are an important piece of distributed databases cloud storage system, and coordination services. One reason RSM are so widely used is that their four torrent enable building highly available services. Replica state machine achieve four torrent by starting each replica in the same initial state and then moving them through the same sequence of states by executing command in the same order. Thus, if one replica fail, the state is still available on the other replicas that continue operating the surface. Yet, there are many behavior for a replica between operating normally and failing. In particular, some replica can be much slower than others. They can be slow for many different reasons, misconfiguration, host side network problem, partial hardware failure, garbage collection, etc. The effect of this slowdown is that an individual replica takes longer than usual to send out responses. Unfortunately, the mechanism built into RSM to tolerate failure do not tolerate slowdown. Here is what happens when a replica in an RSM becomes slow. The entire RSM becomes slow and responses to client are slow too. In turn, this hurt availability because a service that does not respond in time is not meaningfully available. Thus, we need slowdown torrents. We need RSM that remain fast despite slow graphics. The slowdowns our RSM should tolerate can take different forms. They may be changing, lasting second to minutes, or long term, lasting hour to days. What we focus on in this work is how to tolerate change and slowdown in general and how to tolerate long-term slowdown in the time between their onset, the eventual detection, and the end of reconfiguration. The slowdown we aim to tolerate may have different severities. For instance, a replica taking an extra 10 milliseconds to respond or an extra 80 milliseconds. They may also have different scope, for instance, affecting all processing, processing paths on the replica or only a subset of them. To define slowdown torrents, we first define what it means for a replica to be slow. We say a replica is slow when the time between it receiving a message and the sending our response is more than a threshold time t over its normal response time. Then, we say a replica state machine is as slowdown torrent if it provides a service that is not slow despite S replica being slow. That is, if you replace the S slowest replicas with normal replicas, the response time should not change much. Given slowdown are rare, it's unlikely that a single RSM will contain multiple slow replicas at the same time. Thus, in this work, we target one slowdown torrent RSM. To the best of our knowledge, no, no existing consensus protocol is one slowdown torrent, meaning our existing consensus protocol will slow down in some cases when even a single replica is slow. I will explain why multi process is not slowdown torrent by first giving a brief over overview of how it works. A client sends a command to the leader replica. 
the leader ordered the command and get the get other replica to accept ordering would commit the command. The leader notified other replica of the commit and the replica, including the leader, execute the command. Then the leader replied to the client. This protocol is not slowed out torrent because some of the processing stages are done by only single replica, the leader. This part of the protocol are marked in orange. If the leader is slow, then the RSM will be slow. For instance, if the leader is slow to send out the message that order a command, it will slow down the processing of all commands. The fundamental reason why multi source and other consensus protocol are not slowed out torrent is because the processing path goes through a single replica at some point. If that replica is low, the processing of that command will be slow. Copilot is the first one slowed out torrent protocol. It achieves this by making sure the processing path never gets stuck at a single replica. Instead of a single leader, we use two leaders, a pilot and a co-pilot that proactively provide redundancy. And instead of sending a command to one leader, the client now sends it to both pilots. And both pilots start ordering the command. But wait, how do we order this duplicate command consistently? This turned out to be hard to see why. Let's consider some naive solution and see why they don't work. First, if the pilot and co-pilot order the command completely, completely independently, then they could be different. And no replica, including the pilot, will know which is the correct order. I use prime here to distinguish the co-pilot entry. We can address the problem by adding dependency between entries in the pilot and co-pilot logs. So now whenever an entry is committed in one pilot log, it commit with a dependency on some entry in the other pilot log. Suppose the first entry commit in the pilot log with the command A. If the next entry that commit is in the co-pilot log, then it will have a dependency on A. Similarly, the next entry that commit in the pilot log will have a dependency on an entry in the co-pilot log, and so on. In addition to this dependency, there are also implicit dependency within the log that correspond to the slot order. Now, with all of the, this dependency, we can start constructing a total ordering that respect the dependency orders. But there are still two problems. The first problem is kind of obvious, which is that there may be cycles. For example, there is a cycle from E in the pilot log to E prime and B prime in the co-pilot log and back to E. We can address the cycle problem by using a priority rule to break them deterministically. For example, always order the pilot entry before the co-pilot. The second problem is more subtle and involves these dependency edges. To see the problem, consider a replica that is learning the entry of pilot and co-pilot log, but has already seen the following prefix so far. A possible ordering this replica might follow it is. Now consider what would happen if the replica had this prefix instead. Now, a possible ordering could be this. Clearly, this could result in inconsistent ordering at different replicas. To prevent this from happening, we introduce a compatibility check. This check ensure replicas only accept dependency that cannot lead to multiple potential order. This will prevent the orange X from appearing in the logs. Well, with our compatibility check, 
and our rule for breaking cycle, we now have the ingredient to construct a single total ordering across all replicas, including both pilots. Going back to our protocol diagram, after the client sent a command to both pilots, each pilot proposed the command with an initial dependency on the later command is seen from the other pilot log. If this is accepted as compatible by enough replicas, the command commit on the fast path. Otherwise, the replicas reply with suggested dependency that the pilot used to select a compatible final dependency, which it then commit on the regular path. Then the command is executed and both pilot reply to client. If we look at this message diagram, we see that there is no point where processing must go through a single replica. In other words, there are always two disjoint paths for processing a client command. This means that we can tolerate any one slowdown or failure without slowdown the entire RSM. For example, if the pilot is low or fail, then this path can still proceed. If the co-pilot is low or fail, then the following path can still proceed. But we are forgetting something here. Remember that we added dependency between the pilot and co-pilot command to ensure a consistent total ordering. This means that a pilot cannot execute a command until its dependency in the other pilot log has been committed. For example, in this picture, the copilot cannot execute command C prime until the command B in the pilot log is committed, since C prime has a dependency on B. So suppose this command commit quickly, but the pilot experiences a slowdown before it commit B. Then even though C prime has committed, the copilot cannot execute C prime because its dependency B has not yet committed. This is not one slowdown torrent because the slow pilot has slowed down the co pilot and no one is making progress on command C prime. To address this, co pilot allows one pilot to fast take over the ordering work of another pilot if it is taking too long. To summarize, co pilot provides one slowdown torrent by proactive redundancy. To pilot process all commands, if one pilot is slow, the other pilot can continue operating. To provide linearizability, co-pilot use dependency to combine ordering from two pilots. The com compatibility check ensure the same order on all replicas. And co-pilot break the dependency cycles by priority. And to avoid waiting on the slow pilot, co-pilot use the fast takeover mechanism to allow the fast pilot to complete the ordering work of the slow pilot. Co-pilot has to implement optimization that keep it on the fast path almost all the time, ping pong patching and no dependency elimination. Ping pong patching improve co-pilot performance when both pilots are fast. It coordinates both pilots to alternate their proposal, promote them in a compatible ordering, and allow both pilots to commit on fast path often. No dependency elimination improves co-pilot performance when one of the pilots is slow. It allows a fast pilot to safely avoid waiting on commit from a slow pilot and thus avoid fast takeover. Our evaluation focuses on the slowdown torrent of consensus protocols and their performance when there are no slow replicas. We use five replica RSM that can tolerate at most two failure. Replicas and clients are in the same data center, and slowdown experiments are under moderate load. We Im implemented Copilot in Go using the framework from Epaxos. In this talk, I show the result for multipassos and fast view change. Fast view change modify multipassos to use an idealized view change mechanism with a short 10 second timeout. Our first slowdown experiment injects change and slowdown 
with very short duration. They are ingested by bossing the leader in multiplexers and fast view chains and a pilot in co-pilot. The axis show the time in seconds. Change in slowdown of increasing length are ingested every second starting at the time two seconds. The y axis show the latency of client command in milliseconds. First up in multiplexers, multiplexers does not tolerate ch change in slowdowns as its latency increases with the length of the pause. For instance, with an 80 millisecond pause, multiplexers has run command that take over 80 milliseconds. Next is fast view change. Fast view change tolerate change in slowdown as its latency stay relatively slow with a maximum of around 25 milliseconds. It tolerate the slowdown by detecting them to a short 10 millisecond timeout and then quickly moving to a new leader. Finally, we have Copilot. Copilot tolerate change in slowdown to a proactive redundancy. Its latency is low and is controlled by the timeout that pilot used a fast takeover. Here, we use a 10 millisecond fast takeover timeout, and this controls the maximum latency, which is around 12.5 milliseconds. Our second experiment injects a slowdown where a replica becomes gradually slower over time. In this experiment, a replica delay increases one millisecond for every second of a three minute experiment. The x axis shows the command latency in log scale. The y axis shows the CDF of latency. Here we compare with only fast view change. In this case, it slowed down with a CDF of latency that mirrors the increasing slowness of its leader. For instance, it has the latency of over 40 milliseconds for much of the experiment because the gradual slowing of the leader does not trigger its view change. In contrast, Copilot delivers latency similar to the normal case. Copilot tolerates this slowdown because of its, its proactive redundancy. The no dependency elimination optimization keeps Copilot latency low in this case by avoiding the need for any fast takeovers. So, only Copilot tolerates this type of slowdown. Our third experiment evaluate performance when there are no slow raptors. X axis show the system throughput and the y axis show the median latency of a command. The red line show the throughput and latency of multiplexers as we increase the load on the system. And the green line show the throughput and latency of copilot. Copilot achieve latency similar to multiplexers at low and moderate load at high load Copilot latency is higher but still low. Copilot peak throughput is about 8% lower than multiplexers. Copilot low latency and high throughput when there are no slow replicas is due to ping pong patching. Its lower but competitive performance with multiplexers is as we expected, since a pilot also needs to do the work of a replica for the other pilot patches. In this talk, I explain what slowdowns are, why they hurt availability, and why we need replica state machine to tolerate them. I define S slowdown torrent for RSM and then focus on the practically important case of one slowdown torrent. Copilot is the first one slowdown torrent protocol. It achieves slowdown torrent using proactive redundancy and a fast takeover mechanism. It has two optimizations that improve performance in the normal case and when there is one slowdown. Our evaluation showed that in a single data center, Copilot achieved performance competitive with multiplexers and is the only protocol that can tolerate any one slow replica. Thank you for watching.